Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Video Blocks. If you ever need for stock videos, After Effects, or motion background, then Video Blocks is the best option for you. As a content creator, many times you have to use stock videos for your projects. And it can cost you more than your entire budget. But, with Video Blocks, get studio quality stock, for a fraction of the cost. All content on the video blocks are royalty free, so you can use it for commercial, and personal projects. Go to the link in the description, to get all the stock videos you can imagine. So let's get started. Open After Effects and don't create a new composition. Instead, download this Photoshop file from the description, and import it into the project. Here you will see this pop-up window. Make sure to select Import Kind, to the composition. And then choose Layer Style to editable layer styles. And then hit OK. Now double click on this Vector City composition, and it will create a composition with the same Photoshop document. In case you want to change the composition settings, simply go to the composition, and choose Composition Settings. I'm using the default frame size and keeping a frame rate of 60. You are free to choose your own settings. Here you can see, we already have these three layers. We will use the elements layers for animation. This is a Photoshop file, which has all the pre-made elements to animate the scene. I am just showing you the animation process, in case you want me to design this whole scene by myself, you can ask me in the comments. Open this elements comp. And here you can see, we have these organized layers, for each element. Everything is placed on a separate layer. This is what we needed. As you can see, this is only a static, or still graphics, which don't have any animation. The first step is to create a pop-up animation. But first, we have to place the anchor point, of all layers, at the bottom of the shape, of that specific layer. It will make the scale animation to start from the bottom. So go to the tools, and select the pan behind, or the anchor point tool. I am placing the anchor point of this balloon, at the bottom of this shape. You can zoom into the scene, to make the more precise movements. Cool. Do the same for all other layers as well. Select them one by one, and place the anchor point, at the bottom of the shape. You can spend some more time in doing this. Also, make sure you are placing the anchor point of that particular shape only. Don't just randomly place it. Cool. We did this. Now open this wind turbine layer, and select this blade layer, let's add, a rotation animation to it. Press R, to open rotation. Then press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and then click on this stopwatch icon. Here it will prompt you to add an expression. In this expression box, type, time, star 120. It means, it will keep rotating for 120 times in a minute. Now if you check the animation, you can see this is not how wind turbine work. It doesn't even work the same, in a hurricane as well. Here is a quick fix for this. Select this blade layer, and place the anchor point, in the middle of these blades. Again, zoom in as much as possible, to make the precise change. Cool. 
check the animation, and yes, this is how it should work. Ramp review this, and see if you are happy with it. It seems like the rotation is a bit slow for me, let's change the number by 220. Cool, this is much better now. Select this expression once again, and copy it. Switch back to the elements composition, and open this second wind turbine as well. Select the blade layer, and place the anchor point into the center of these blades. Then open rotation, and add an expression to it. This time I'm using times, star, 280. Click anywhere in the panel, to eject from the expression box. Let's check the animation. Make sure the anchor point should be in the center, as close as possible, to avoid these micro bounces. Perfect. Let's do the same with the last wind turbine as well. You can simply copy first twin turbine, instead of editing three turbines one by one. Perfect. Now select the top wind turbine layer, and press S, to open scale. Then go to the first second forward. And add a keyframe on it. Go to the first frame position and change the scale value to 0%. Let's zoom into the timeline by pressing the plus key on your keyboard. Go to around somewhere here, and then change the scale value to 120%. Cool. This is the tiny bounce effect. Now select all keyframe, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and in case your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now select any keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and your animation should look like this. It is smoother than before. Let's apply this same scale animation to all other layers. Simply, select this scale, and press Ctrl plus C, to copy it. We will paste these scale keyframes to all other layers. Let's select this front mountain layer, and let's increase the source name tab size first, so that we can see the name clearly. Now press Ctrl plus V, to paste the copied scale keyframes on it. This playhead position defines the starting frame of the scale animation. I am keeping a few frame distance for each layer, just to start the animation dynamically. Make sure to paste the keyframes on all layers. And now these layers will start appearing. Let's animate this balloon. Go to the first second, then open position. Now add a keyframe on it. Let's zoom out the timeline, by pressing the minus key on your keyboard. Then go to around 7 seconds forward, and change the balloon position to something like here. Do the same with this cloud layer as well. Open position and add a keyframe on it. Let's place this keyframe at the first second position. And then change the position to something like this. Now select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Switch back to the main timeline, and now our animation should look like this. Seems like my layers are taking time in appearing. Go back to the element composition. Select all layers, and press S, to open scale. Now bring these keyframes closer, either by placing the keyframes, or dragging the layers. By the way, you are free to choose your own style. 
switch back to the timeline, and RAM preview this. Our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.